Fellow Toastmasters, last week I stood here in front of you all and asked you all a very definitive question about what is your why. And it's a very important question. And with that question, I'd like you to ask yourselves, after you heard that speech, were you enrolled into that way of thinking? Did you truly go home and think about, what is my why? What am I doing with my, my life, with my relationships, with my job? Am I doing all of the things that I want to do, or am I doing all the things that I have to do? What's the difference? There's a big difference. Knowing what your why is and knowing what your what is are two completely different things. What I do every day could be because of the decisions that I decided to take, because I felt like I was put into a position or a situation where I, I had to do this job. It was easier to take the job. If I didn't take the job, another job wouldn't have came up. It was the easy way out. I'm in this relationship because I couldn't do better. I'm in this situation because that's just me, that's just my luck. Is that true for you? Well, the situation is true, but is that true for what is within you? That is the difference in the question. When we do things in life that are not true to us, we are surviving. We're all here today, are we not? We, we are surviving. We've all achieved that, and that is big. But are we really persevering and going to the next level and getting what it is that we truly desire? That is the real question. I gave this analogy last week as well about the lion and the gazelle. And I'm going to give it again because it's an important one. What does a gazelle do and what does a lion do? What is the difference? Well, they both wake up every morning. We all wake up every morning. We all have that in common. The gazelle gets up, eats the fauna, eats the grass, has a nice time. The only thing that they're worrying about is today I can't be the slowest because if I'm the slowest, the lion is going to get me. So I got to survive. I'm going to survive today. That's all I need to do is survive. Don't get me wrong. Gazelles are beautiful, they're very important, they're part of the ecosystem, they have to exist. But what's the difference between a lion and a gazelle? The lion gets up every morning hungry with a defined purpose and says, today I'm going to make a kill. They get up and they do what's true for them, that's their why. They say, I'm hungry, I want it, I'm going to get after it, it's mine. They go out, they make the kill, and the best part is they get to bring it home. They get to bring it home to share it with their family, their true passion. What they really went out and earned, they get to bring it back to their pride and say, I'm sharing this with you all because I went out today and did my best to make sure that I survive, you survive, and we have the best that we can possibly have. And every day a lion gets up and has that conversation. It's in them. They have to because if they don't, they're going to die. As humans, we have the privilege of not dying if we don't get up and do the best that we can do. We can play video games, and that's fine. We can sit back and relax, and that's necessary. It's part of life, and we can sometimes get away with doing it forever, depending on our situation. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are lucky enough to just do that, if that's what they want to do. Is that true for them? But let me ask you this. When you're in a relationship that you don't want to be in, why are you in it? Is it easier? Ask yourself, what's your why? Are you in a job that you don't want to be in? You need to ask yourself, what is your why? And to give you some context on this, my why, me, Patrick, what gives me my hunger is my fear of failure, my fear of being left behind. That is what drives me. I want to be successful because of that fear of failure, and I don't mind saying that. That is my why. That's true to me, that is my passion. It doesn't matter what I do, whether I run a race, go out on my bike, whether, I, whether I'm passionate in my job or not, it's my why is my fear of failure. And that is what motivates me. 
when the chips are down and when I'm feeling bad, I say, you got to win, you got to go after it. And you get the result. Even when you don't feel like you're in high spirits, you go out and you do it anyway. That's what I tell myself. And we all have a why. We all have a reason. We all have a story. Everybody has a story that makes them that little bit hungrier. And that's, that's what's true for them. That is their why. So let me ask you this. If you were to say to yourself, tomorrow, I'm going to change my career. Tomorrow, I'm going to fix that relationship. Tomorrow, I'm going to get out of this relationship. And why tomorrow? Because tomorrow really is the rest of your life. Tomorrow is going to be the day where you'll wake up and you can say, today is going to be the, the rest of my life, the first day of the rest of my life. I'm going to give you tonight to digest it, but tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. And when you make up your mind to truly move forward with that idea, and to say, yes, there's risk involved, but I don't want to risk not living my life to the full. The universe will conspire in your favor. It will happen. Will it be tough? Yeah, of course. Everything's tough. Nobody has anything easy. You just have to decide that it's truly for you. The universe will conspire in your favor because fortune favors the brave. Adam Toastmaster.